So in today's video, I want to show you guys a special play inside the Arizona Cardinals playbook that can pretty much bomb every single zone coverage in Madden 22. So if you enjoyed this video, go and drop a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn on post notifications on. So like I said, we are in the Arizona Cardinals playbook and the formation that we're talking about is going to be this cluster halfback strong. Now the good thing about this play is it actually doesn't matter. You don't need your fastest receiver there. You honestly just need a receiver there. And that's why I'm using the Bills because they're the perfect example because they don't have that many fast receivers. So the person we're going to have running this route is actually Emmanuel Sanders. And I believe he only has like 88 speed. So you're going to be able to tell it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're going to be able to get the separation that we want. So the play we'll be talking about is going to be this mesh post. Now I haven't tried it out against post curls. So I'm not sure about post curls, but for sure you want to come out into mesh post. So for the formation, um, let's go with something like two, four, five, and I'm gonna show you against man. I'm gonna show you against cover two. I'm gonna show you against cover three. Let's go. Ahead. No, we're gonna come out cover three. So let's just show you against even some match. I believe it works well against match. So let's actually do something like cover four quarters. Now, since it is man match, um, and it's a man beating post route, that's why it can work against match coverage. But I'm also gonna show you, um, yeah, man cover two, cover three. Those are pretty much the things that you're gonna see. So let's come out into cover three. Now, I really love this is cover three. Honestly, it's my favorite cover three beater in Madden for current gen right now to be honest with you so the reason that this is so good because the only route that we need is going to be this post route and because of where this receiver is aligned it's actually going to glitch out that deep third right there on the left side um and i'm gonna show you that here right now so for my personal favorite setup i like to take square put him on a slant i like to block my running back now the cool thing about x is that we can actually put him on a route so i like to put x on the drag route just like this and I'll take R1 and I'll put him on a flat route just like this. Now, this is good because this slant, well, this flat route is going to widen out all the zones and it's going to allow a, a gap for our slant to be wide open. And so if the user does not follow this slant, then he's going to get bombed with this cover three. So let me go ahead and show you that. So I'm actually going to spy uh, Zadarius Smith and Clark so I just don't get absolutely hollered at. But you won't need this spy. You just need a little bit of time. That's all you need. And now I want you to watch uh, Kevin King out there. I think that's who that is. And now watch him, how he just doesn't play him. And what you're going to be able to do is just actually pass lead that up just because of how broken zone coverages are right now into Madden 22. Now, eventually, this may get fixed, but I want to show you against pressing, and after that, I'll actually go into replay, and I'm going to show you against other coverages. I'm going to show you what happens if they deep half and all of that. I'm going to get into all that with you guys. So, for the setup, again, you want to take square, put them on a slant. You want to take X, put them on a drag. You want to take R1, put them on a flat route, and you want to block your running back just like this, and now we're good. Now, I don't recommend, like, emotioning this guy out or nothing. If you wanted to emotion somebody, you can just, um... To make your opponent think you're running a different concept, you can actually take them and just motion them out just like that. And then you can go and snap the ball. Now it's the same exact concept, but they might be thinking, oh, you want to go in and read that side. And then look what happens right there. We're going to be able to pass lead that up. And like I said, he is 88 speed. So it's not even like a speed advantage. And let me go into replay really quick and just show you guys exactly why this is so slept on. So let's take a look at him as soon as my controller stops working out. There we go. So let's take a look at him. So what he's going to do is for some reason... Um, he just doesn't register that this post route is coming. And now, like I said, this is pretty much just like a glitch because normally, you guys know, whenever somebody threatens their zone, they'll actually run with them. But for some reason, he just doesn't. And you're going to see in the gameplay that it's the same exact way. So for whatever reason, as long as you have enough time in the pocket, that will always be open. And now, um, let me do show you a deep half and show you that it doesn't matter. And at the same time, I'm going to show you, it doesn't really matter about the route concept. It's just this route right here that's really overrated. So you don't want to put like a streak or nothing or that's going to mess it up. So you could do square on like a hitch. So you can run, you can also run a, um, you can also run a concept like this if you wanted to, where this running back wheel route is going to widen out any of these flat zones and you're going to have R1 right there for a nice little check down. So let me go ahead and show you that right here real quick. And then we'll kind of go into replay to show you that. And then we'll go ahead and move on with the cover shells that I wanted to talk to you about. So you see how R1 screaming wide open right there? Or we can wait, wait, and then we can have that right there for a potential one play touchdown against cover three. Like that is absolutely insane how that uh, works right there. So quickly, I'm going to hop into replay to show you what I was talking about. So this running back route right here is going to widen out any of the zones. So like the curl flats, the flat zones are going to widen that out. And now this uh, curl route right here is actually going to pull back any hook zones or vertical hooks. So normally you'll have this wide open where the user has to guard that. If they don't, that's an easy throw. And you already seen 
that were going to basically glitch out cover three. Now, you could tell that was with a deep half. Now, you probably think, bro, what they, uh, what they play cover two, what that look like. So let me go ahead and show you this real quick. So with cover two, I'm just going to keep the same general stock setup. But like I said, you can use that other setup if you want to. This is just one that I'm just using right now um, because the other one, I like to mix them up. And like I said, the only thing that you need is just this post route. So watch that deep half. Watch how it kind of just doesn't register it. You can see right there. I mean, that's just, I mean, I could have been through the ball. I just wanted to exaggerate how wide open that is. Now, quickly before I get into anything else, you might be thinking, well, come on now. All I got to do is zone drop, right? All I got to do is just go in here, you know, go to coaching adjustments. Then all I got to do is just set my uh, zone drops to 25 and I'll be good, right? So let me go ahead and show you, um, actually put that at 25 because I don't really see nobody realistically doing 30 yard zone drops. That's just me. Um, I've never really seen it. I doubt you will do it too unless somebody just was spamming something that forced you to have to do it, if that makes sense. So let's go back to, um, let's go back to cluster halfback strong. And let's go back to mesh post. So again, I'm just going to do the same setup that I showed you guys. And like I said, the only thing you need to make sure you do is do not put a streak on the field. And then you can just do any kind of concept that you want. That's what makes this play really, really great. So remember, we have our uh, cloud set at 25. So what you're going to be able to notice here is that it doesn't matter. Like he's just he just won't be able to play. As you can tell, we can still get that pass lead right there. Now, that is a little risky. Yes. So if they're setting 25 yards on drops, you can actually still fit it in there. Um, hopefully I can get a better example for you. Uh, let's see here. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Just like that. We're good. Just like this. Let's go and snap this ball so we can see because you can still have it, though. Uh, you just need to pass lead at the right times. You can tell you seen a move. That's what we're going to be waiting on. I was trying to I, hope, I was hoping I can get that animation because that's the animation that you're going to be looking for. And in case you missed it, let's go and take a look at it right now. So what you're going to notice right here is watch. Watch how this cloud flat right here. So when he, whenever for whatever reason, when he comes um when this receiver comes closer, for whatever reason, they still do the same animation as they did on Madden 21 where he slides. Now, as soon as he slides, that's when you want to throw that ball because they won't let you uh, actually pick that ball. So the defender won't be able to click on the pick as soon as he slides. It's going to create a nice, nice gap that we can hit right there. So uh, I will show you cover three. I actually don't have it in my um, audible. So let's go cover four quarters and then let's put purples on the field. Now, this will probably be the best way to take it away, but it still won't do as good of a job. So let's go and do the same setup right here and i must also show you um against regular match covers too don't worry about it got a kind of a lot i want to show you in a little bit of time but what you're going to be able to notice is that we'll still be able to pass lead that look at that like that is absolutely crazy uh that we can still fit that in that gap and so remember anytime we turn zone drops on it pretty much makes it like a standard uh cover four shell so this is a standard cover four so if we went to cover four drop it will play pretty much the same way um, and that's just absolutely crazy to me that we are still able to just complete this pass. So this is just show you just literally how broken these zone coverages are as of right now on Madden 22. So if you could take a look and then we'll, oh, I threw that a little bit too early and still, I mean, we're, we're pretty much talking about a one play touchdown with literally one route on the field. So quickly, I do want to show you how it fares off against man coverage. Then I'll be showing you some gameplay and then that'll be the video. So let's do go ahead and go back to uh, cluster have back strong. And also, I am in the um, Cardinals playbook. Again, I am in the Cardinals playbook. I don't remember if I said that. So let's actually go ahead and turn zone drops off. And then we'll just talk about man coverage and some match. And then, um, like I said, that'll be all. So let's go to 245. Let's actually, uh, instead of man blitz, let's actually put something in like, uh, let's go cover. Uh, let's see, yeah, cover six. Cover six and cover four quarters are the most common things you'll run into. And then let's actually start off into two man under. And then we'll talk about the rest. So against two man under, this is nice because as you guys know, um, as of right now, most people probably aren't pressing, so I'm gonna show it where people aren't pressing. Here we go, right here. And then, as you could, as you're gonna be able to know, is you're either gonna have this slant or this post route that's gonna get wide open. So let me go and show you that real quick. And then, boom! As you can tell, as long as your receiver can beat your man, you're good because you'll have that little lane right there. Now, that is Emmanuel Sanders on Jerry Alexander. Do not expect to win that matchup. Um, you'd, you'd be crazy if you think you'll win that matchup. So you want to put your best receiver there. So if they're playing a lot of man or man match, put your best receiver right here. But I just wanted you guys to know that it's not absolutely necessary to put your best receiver there to make the play. It's just whenever they run any type of man or man match. Now, of course, you know, the slant is good because if they're not pressing, then that's a free release slant. So that's why I said they have to press, but if they press, that post route is a man beating post route. So, um, and if you have your best receiver right there, most people don't want to press your best receiver, so they may try to play off inside of this coverage. So let's talk about uh, cover four quarters, and then we'll talk about cover six, and then after that, I'll be showing you gameplay, and I promise you that'll be the video. So here's the setup again right here boom 
we're going to snap the ball so you can kind of see what's going on here so like i said it kind of man matches but uh sometimes you can still have that like i said it's a safety well it's a corner on your receiver at that point but it all just depends on um and now it just depends on your receiver so if they're playing a lot of match just put your best receiver there you're gonna have the um you're gonna have you know the best chance of catching the ball if your best receiver is right there so let's go and snap this and show you again right here as i can tell they're gonna switch and then you'll be able to still a lot of times have that right there i know that looks like a tough throw but you want to make sure you pass lead it inside and possession catch that and normally they won't be able to pick that off um you can tell we're doing that on i mean like i said Manuel sanders isn't just the top best you know receiver in the game so anyway let's talk about cover six and after that i'll show you some gameplay and then that'll be the video so let's go and set up the same setup like i said as you can tell this is actually my favorite setup personally so watch what happens so this post route you can tell it's not going to get matched and then we'll just be able to have that all day long But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I just want to bring you guys a small little one place scheme that you could run, and I gave you two little variations. So just have fun with both of those, and honestly, uh, look for this to be passed real soon to where zones are actually respect that. So just abuse it while you can, honestly. But anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I do hope you have a blessed day. I'm Rage Real, and I'm out.